If you lose your job because your company or the economics in general isn't doing well, that's obviously very bad. But the likelihood of finding work with your skills at another company is high, although the process to get there can be a difficult one. But what if you get laid off because of an AI or a robot can do your job better and cheaper? It won't take long before all companies change their processes and the job you were good at won't no longer exist. Welcome to the Inimachinations channel. If you are interested in AI or other related topics, please subscribe and turn on notifications. After talking about whether AI will wipe us out in one of our last videos and concluding that this probably won't be the case, let's look at whether AI is a threat to our jobs. First of all, we can state that the economy has always been subject to change. With the invention of the steam engine, it was possible to replace the muscle power needed with cheaper and more powerful machines. And through the increased mechanization, the labor market has changed constantly. Who of you still knows the job of a lantern lighter or the pin setter on a bowling lane? The inventions of the electric seat lamp and the automatic bowling machine must have been a hard blow for these people. Even though it is hard for us to imagine that people were once responsible for such tasks. It was certainly a technical revolution back then when these jobs became obsolete. The difference today is that it's relatively easy to admit that you can't harvest a field as good as a big bot 16V can. But it would be harder for us to admit that this tractor is also more intelligent than we in terms of navigating on a cotton field. Talking about intelligence here is complicated though, but there are certainly some complicated processes that AI can do way better than a human and where you would need very intelligent people to complete these tasks at all. We humans are accustomed to be the most intelligent species on planet Earth. And although we will remain so for the time being, intelligent algorithms are capable of surpassing human performance in certain areas. When machines pushed us out of the field work, we went to the factories. When machines took over this too, we went into the offices. But where do we go when machines take over our office jobs? That's a tough question. And it's just as tough as to predict which professions might be the first to become obsolete. One example, doctors and surgeons. Who's most likely to lose their jobs to an AI? I think it's probably the doctors. Creating a machine that can remove your appendix using AI is an engineering task that we won't overcome anytime soon. However, the main job of doctors is to make decisions on the information given. In this area, AI is already very advanced. There are programs that can search enormous databases for diseases however unknown they are. No doctor can keep every disease in mind. In addition, it is already possible for an AI to detect tumors more precisely than any doctor can. Currently, the final decision is still made by the attending physician, but AI has definitely found its way into medicine. This leads us directly to the first question you can ask yourself to check if your job is safe. Does my job affect the safety of people's life? Doctors are a good example here because they make decisions every day that can make the difference between life and death. But so do cab drivers, because any bad decision puts people at risk. The responsibility presents an entry barrier for AI, as companies and governments are very wary of putting responsibilities in the hand of machines. Once this entry barrier is passed, however, the high level of responsibility accelerates the process. If a human is proven to be a safety risk, then the shift to AI will happen very quickly. I think it's not unlikely that in a few decades from now, not a single car will be operated by a human, because it's just too dangerous. Another question you should ask yourself is, do I interact with people during my workday? If the answer is yes, you have definitely less to worry about. Teachers, nurses or psychologists need a high level of empathy for their job. Even if there were an AI that could behave empathically, it would certainly not be accepted by the people who depend on this service. Who would want to talk to a machine about its problems? Therefore, all jobs that deal directly with other people are relatively safe. Do I work with data? Everything that has to do with data is predestined to be taken over by an AI. This applies to many classic office jobs, in administration or even in technical professions. However, 
It is also important to say that it depends on a lot of things if AI can take over a job. Anyone who only transfers data from one system to another according to simple criteria can be replaced. And even some programmers are in danger, even if they are among the big winners of the digitalization. But even among them there are tasks that are relatively standardized and do not require a high level of creativity. It can be stated that it's hardly possible to make sweeping statements about entire types of jobs. In case of doubt, each job must be considered individually. Some jobs will disappear completely, while others will only change significantly. We will probably have a lot more to do with AI in the future than it is already the case today. If you want to find out exactly if your job is likely to be taken over by an AI, I can recommend you the website willrobotstakemyjob.com. Even though the information on this site can't be 100% accurate, and this site is certainly not to be taken completely seriously, you can get an interesting overview of what the working world of tomorrow will look like. If you liked the video, you might also be interested in why AI plays rock, paper, scissors better than any human in existence. This video is linked here. See you all soon.